Hey, did y'all have a good holiday? I hope so. Man, that shit was powerful shit. You know, sometimes I just want swag to feel good. I don't want to feel... I want Dro to feel psychedelic. I want to relax sometimes, you know? I don't want to just be, like, out of it, you know? That's why I don't like buying amazing shit all the time. It's just kind of overwhelming sometimes. But anyway, it's probably just because I'm more sensitive in general to psychedelics, you know? Imagine if you are Swedenberg and you do see angels normally, what if you smoked marijuana and got into that psychedelic state, you know? I mean, we have receptors in our body that only THC can open. So God is telling us, use those receptors, but, you know, for something. Like, all the shit I talk about is like, it's like most people are confused because of lack of evidence of, you know, God. And for me, it's the opposite. It's just like, I have so many different areas to prove the divine I don't even know where to start and I don't know who is more valid than the other and who is actually probably saying the same truth as another you know um, I, was, I was thinking about uh, deja vu and blindness you know blindness is so interesting to me because this world is so visual trips are visual and emotional but it's like when I have a deja vu it's it's like a visual thing mostly I might hear the same thing too as well but I mean, I'm just wondering how the blind experience deja vu, you know. Um, so, based off of his autobiography, fucking fly, um, Nietzsche, his four favorite, his top four of all time, okay, we got Socrates, Stendhal, Dostoevsky, and Emerson. Wouldn't you say so? Wouldn't you agree with me? Okay, well, if you do, then let's take a step further. Emerson is a Gemini pig who's the very best friend for an Aquarius rabbit, like me. Stendhal is an Aquarius rabbit with Saturn and Sagittarius, like me. Uh, Socrates, Moon and Cancer, Mars, Aries, Pluto, Scorpio, Neptune, Capricorn, just like me. And finally, Dostoevsky has a very rare and exact conjunction of Uranus, Neptune, and Venus all together in the cusp of Sagicorn, just like me. If you add Saturn in there, then that's my quadruple conjunction. So it's pretty much saying people with the similar archetypes as me, I like. And it makes sense that I found Nietzsche before all these other guys that he introduced me to. Well, not Socrates, of course. Um, but yeah. Anyway, you know cannabis was in the Bible? They say it's calamus. The actual Hebrew word is like canobosum or something in Exodus 30, 23. Check it out yourself. By the way, there's new NASA pics from Hubble, because it's like 20th year anniversary. That's kind of tight. And I'll send you, send you another article about how scientists have actually teleported light in Tokyo. Strange, huh? It's already Star Trek era. Okay. Um, oh, yeah. And that DNA thing I found from someone on Facebook. Well, another YouTuber friend uh, saw it, saw the link, the DNA change. I still don't know what to think about it. You know, because if Wilcox says our DNA changes while we're alive, and then this article is saying these new babies have the new DNA. Anyway, someone re he tweeted it to Joe Rogan, and Joe Rogan retweeted the DNA article that the guy got from me to his 300,000 followers. So if I didn't send that link, that guy wouldn't have tweeted to Rogan, and Rogan wouldn't have tweeted to his followers. Small world, you know? It's the shit. Anyway, Swedenberg says... um about the apocalypse, you know? He says, the last judgment is in the world of spirits, and its execution does not involve the world of nature. Our earth will never perish, for it is the birthplace of the human race, and it's the seminary of heaven, and and we would be, and heaven would be starved, and ground of its sustenance, uh, you know, if earth wasn't there. Once again, 2012, the earth won't blow up, okay? I mean... It's the golden age. It's not the bronze age. Or the rusty age. 